Hey, what's up, ladies and gents? Slow here with the Sierra Not Know, and uh, today I'm bringing you guys a domination gameplay on the map of Bakara using the Scar L with a silencer and hex camo. This was a while ago. This was a while ago, though. This was a while ago, though. That sounds weird, but I guess you say it like that, yay! But anyway, so, um, as I said, it was a while ago, I was like level 47 or something, now like level 80. So, it was a, lo uh, a while ago, and I'm actually gonna stay at 80 for a while, I'm not gonna prestige, because I'm going for like all the gold guns. I already have all the pro perks, except extreme conditioning and recon, because they take like a long time to get. Because I like hate running around with uh, extreme conditioning. Of course, it would be a lot better if you, I get like, like all the specialist perks, and then of course I'm running around with it. But I'm not like I want to have it on like on every class running around with it because that's just boring and it just bores me out. And I want that quick reload. Although I'm using scavenger in this gameplay, but <laughs> however, so yeah, and recon. I don't want to run around with throwing around a lot of stuns and. Semtexes and frags and flashes and stuff because that's not fun either. But I got all the blue parts, all the red parts. It took a while for me to get Overkill Pro actually because it's like it took a while because I picked the wrong weapon before. I picked like the PP90 and one or something. <laughs> but uh, then I, when I had like 150 kills left, I took my ACR and went a lot better and I got pretty fast. But yeah, so. I also wanted to inform you guys that I have two gold guns now, Kapow. I have the Epic 7 and the Striker. And it actually took a while to get it. No, it actually took a while to get the Epic 7, but the Striker, I got that in one day, this day. I got it from level 9 to 31 on this day. That says there is a pretty lot of game involved in this. So, anyways, so, enough about that, I guess. So, uh, anyways, so. Uh, today I actually want to talk a little bit about the Scar L, you know, also, it's a really overpowered, no, it's a really overused gun, uh, it's not like overpowered, you put a silencer and kick on it, it's a pretty good gun, but a lot of people use it, and I hate when people say it's overpowered and stuff, because I hate when people talk about the FMG9's overpoweredness and the striker overpoweredness, and it just annoys me because every gun is the same basically. It's just they look different and sound different, I think, and have a little different amount of recoil. But I know, you know, and the Type 95 they say is for rigging overpower, but I mean, why? It's, you know, the FMG9's they patch it, uh, they patch a lot of things with them, and you know. It's like so annoying when people say it's like overpowered because it's not. It's just overuse. It's a oh, very overused gun. You run into uh, nine out of ten times. You run into a people using uh, akimbo secondary FMG knives. So they sh the best thing they could do. I don't know if they could change this, but the best thing they would do is to put the FMG nines or the FMG nine as a primary weapon because that would be a lot easier for everyone. Everyone would use. Or not everyone, I guess, but I would enjoy it. <laughs> and yeah, and like the Type 95, they also patched that thing, and that is not overpowered. When every time I'm putting it on, it goes crap. Maybe maybe it's because I'm not good with three round bursts, but it's like, ugh, I hate that weapon. Just as much as much as I hate the FMG Knights, I think the recoil is ridiculous. You have to press the right and left stick like far down, just like the G18s in Modern Warfare 2, they weren't overpowered, they had a huge amount of fire rate, and these this things also have a lot of fire rate, but the the Type 95 does not, due to the fact that there is a tree round burst, but if you throw rapid fire in there, it is a pretty, pretty low, it's like no recall due to the fact there's three round bursts, and it's pretty fast, like drr, 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 with the uh, rapid fire. So I guess, like, if you're good with three round bursts, this would be a weapon for you, but that's a thing I'm not. So I prefer using the MP7 to score, like, the ACR or something like that. Because I'm more used to guns that not are, like, super. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, there. They're stuck in my head. I'm like. But anyway, so, yeah, as I said, the 
FMG9 and the Type 95 is uh, everybody's talking about their overpowerness, which I do not think. I do not think they're overpowered because they're just overused. Uh, um, I would like prefer the MP9 with extended mags over the FMG9 Kimbos because the uh, MP9 with extended mags is beastly, you know. Just try it, please. You'll go 100 and 0 because it's just like a primary. It's like a submachine gun. Having a little mana recoil and huge clip, and it's like really strong. So I would suggest you use that. And it has a high fire rate. I'm looking at it right. Hold on, right now. Yep, the accuracy is not that good. The damage it says is not that good, but it's, it's actually pretty good. The mobility is super high. So this gun is beastly. I would. Uh, 10 times out of 10 suggest this over the FMGs. Also, that you get a lot of hate for using the FMG9, so like posting a video on YouTube like I do right now. So, yeah, well, I guess that's like stuff. But, anyways, so I actually. This gameplay is pretty much coming to an end, I guess. But, anyways, so hope you enjoyed this overpowered stuff talk on my channel and yeah so I guess I'll catch up with you guys later peace